Welcome friends and family back to the Brickitect studio. Today is July 20th, 2019, which makes today the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. That is unless it was a giant hoax orchestrated by the government we never actually went to the moon, which if it was, I'm gonna be very upset about because I moved mail time from Saturday to Sunday specifically to make this video and to celebrate this day. In fact, I've actually been working towards this video for a few days now. You saw earlier this week, I unboxed this set. This is Lego Crater Set 10266 NASA Apollo 11 Lunar Lander. And I spent a few nights and a morning on my live streaming channel building this up just so I'd have it done for today and I could share it with you, which is what I'm going to do right now. Before I get ahead of myself here, let me just be very clear that this is not going to be a detailed review of all of the functions this set and how it performs and all of the detailed knowledge that you would need to have to properly review a space set like this. This is simply just going to be me talking about my experience with the build and my opinion on the set and whether you should buy it. Because that is the reason, at least for me, that's the reason that I like watching reviews is just to see what the person that I respect and care about has to say about the set and how they feel about it. So let's start there. I guess I should go back in time to the beginning of this build where again, I live streamed the entire thing and it started out pretty well. It didn't stay that way. I started with the bottom of this, which I'm just gonna take this off. And that's the nice thing about this. You can remove it. This is the moon surface. This was the part during the unboxing video that I was debating on skipping and just getting right into the lander. And I'm glad I didn't because of course you need something for the lander to go on. This very much reminded me of an architecture set as I was building it. This was the only part during the live stream that I had no issues with, which is pretty sad. This build went a little sour for me. Bag two, I feel like, went okay. Let's, I guess I can move that out of the way so you can just see the lander. Bag two went okay. I think there was maybe some pieces at the very end that I was like, oh, sugar shack. And this happens to me every time I live stream any kind of build, I get to the end of the video or the end of the bag and I'm like, okay, I've got some pieces left over. Let's figure out where they go. And I ended up doing that, got it pieced in there. Everything was okay. Bag three, kind of a similar situation. That actually went pretty well, I felt like, better than bag two. But then bag four, which is this upper part, and I can take this off as well. This part right here, this turned into an absolute nightmare for me to build. And I'm not even sure if I still have it right. There was a couple things, I actually made a joke in the live stream, which I'll share with you here. It won't be nearly as funny if it was funny at all. This looks to me like the, should I even say this joke? It was lame then and I think it's worse. This was the Darth Vader bust prototype. The guy that made it was just like piecing things together at seven o'clock in the morning. And he's like, I've got an idea, Mr. Lego. How about we make a Darth Vader bust? Here's my prototype. And Mr. Lego was like, you're fired, get out of here. No, but bad jokes aside, I had a terrible time with building this. The main problem was I was missing one of these pieces right here. I don't think my camera is gonna love me trying to do this, but maybe we can zoom into it. Yeah, one of these little corner pieces right here was completely missing from the set. And I had everything organized. This was not Clark's fault. It wasn't my fault. We didn't drop any pieces. It just was missing. And I had to end my stream. This was part three of what was supposed to be three parts. I ended my stream specifically because I was like, I don't have the piece. I went through my collection, couldn't find a replacement for it. So I ended the stream, went on to Bricklink. I found out what sets that small piece is located in. And I happened to have one, which was the Black Panther Rhino face off by the mine. And I pulled it out of there. I started the stream back up and we did part four where we finished the mission, but the mission was not a complete success after that. I ended up getting something backwards and again, it might still be messed up. These little panels here on the side, I had them on the wrong side. This one you can see is a little bit larger over here. And I told you this wasn't gonna turn into a detailed review, but I feel like, feel like it is a little bit. I had to switch those around and then these antenna or this satellite thing was kind of on the wrong side as well. And I had these things upside down. I didn't realize that until the end of the stream. Yeah, it didn't go so well for me. It was 16 and up for this build. I think, I don't know if I mentioned that or not during the unboxing, but this is the expert and it is 16 and up. I'm definitely older than 16, but I think a 16 year old probably could have built this better than me. I'm gonna blame it on the fact that I was live streaming it. At least that's what I'm gonna blame it on. I gotta have an excuse guys. On that, it turned into a pretty cool model. You probably wanna see this. This is called, I think the descent stage. And I'm realizing that being on a tripod is not helping me here. So let's go up. Here's what the inside of it looks like if you wanna see that. I love this gold on the side. I love gold all over the side of this thing. And that little reflection there looks pretty. I even messed up these stickers. I had these upside down at one point. I think that was bag two. This is bag two. Wait a minute. No, this was bag two inside here. Bag one, bag two inside here. Bag three was kind of putting these legs on here so the, the lunar lander can actually land. And then bag four was this hot mess of a nightmare build over here. And putting it all together, do I even have it facing the right way? Probably not anymore. Do I? 
I don't even, <laughs> I should not have taken that off. Is it on? Yeah. Ooh, this, this brings back memories. This is the same position that the Volkswagen Beetle was in as I was carrying it over the table and we did the unintentional drop test. Oh man, put you back on the tripod here as I ramble on a bit here. I wasn't going to even make a video on this. I was just gonna do like a community post and be like, yep guys, there it is, it's, it's done. Happy 50th anniversary because I didn't feel confident in my ability to talk about this thing and review it properly. And also just the mess that I had in building it. But you know what? I like to keep it real here. And if you wanna talk about my experience building it, it was a tricky one. I had some issues with it, probably mostly because I was multitasking, which I'm really, really bad at, trying to chat with people in the live stream, read comments, trying to build at the same time. You got that added pressure but those are just excuses. I had just as much problems with BB-8 as I did with this set. I felt like BB-8 was one of those live stream builds where every single bag I had problems with, and this is kind of similar. So it is a bit of a tricky build. I imagine most of you could probably build it no problem. I may be a Lego YouTuber and I might make videos with my son, but I'm certainly not a professional builder, but I did enjoy the build for the most part, just for the fact that I got to do it with really cool people that are part of my community. And I'm happy that it's it's fully built. There was a lot of repetition to it, as you can imagine. You've got all these side pieces that were the same. So you're building four of a lot of things. So that's something to keep in mind too. I feel like I've been running into that a lot this week with repetition and builds. And that's not something you necessarily want. When you're building a Lego set, you like to build new things all the time. And do I have this sitting right? I think I do. <laughs> I just keep going back to it. I'm like, I don't know if that's right. I don't know guys. I'm gonna hesitantly recommend that you buy this. It's $99, so that's something to keep in mind. Think about having a $100 bill in your pocket and what you could do with it. Would you wanna spend it on this set? This one single set that has a bit of a repetition with the build and maybe makes a nice display piece, but the reason that Clark Mann isn't here to review this with me, he did build the astronauts and he had no problems with that. The reason Clark Mann isn't here to review this with me is there's not a whole lot you can do with this other than break it. And I really don't want that to happen considering all the trouble I went through to try to build it. And it may not even be right. Like I said, you might see something on this is like, wait a minute, Greg. Yeah, so not the best collection piece for me and Clark and what we do, but if you're a space nut and you love the, the Apollo program and you like this kind of stuff, you'll probably really enjoy this, especially if you like a little more difficult builds and you don't mind repetition and you like the, the history behind it. I showed you the manual in the unboxing video. There's a lot going on here. So I do think it's worth $99, but just think about what you could spend that on. Even in the creator expert line, you can do a lot with a hundred. If you add a little bit to that, you can start getting modulars and stuff like that too. So that's my, I guess my review on this. Why do I even call it a review right there? It's not a review. That's my experience building this set and my advice for you if you're thinking about getting it. Do it hesitantly, think about the $100. Would I do it again? Yes, because I did love the promo I got with this and I, I felt like that brought the price down. And I think it's really cool and I think it's gonna look great on my shelf. This is not gonna be on a Breaking It Down with Brick Tech episode ever because I'm not tearing this apart, but I'm happy to have it and I'm happy to have you guys here and I'm happy for the people that watched me build it and we're a part of the streams and a part of the community. I really appreciate you guys being there with me while I do that. This community has done so much for me and I try to stress that anytime I can. I really appreciate you guys and your time and your support. I'm not crying, you're crying. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video and we'll be back again with you tomorrow with a belated mail time due to the 50th anniversary, which better have happened.